We're now going to review some of the results we had uh, from our previous discussion. Uh, so we said that this probability of system A having an energy in the interval E to E plus delta E, PE, uh, this has an extremely sharp maximum And this maximum occurs at a specific energy, at energy E is equal to E tilde. Uh, and at equilibrium, we're going to have uh, this energy E tilde, and there will be only very small variation around this energy. Therefore, the mean energy of the system, E bar, will be equal to E tilde and the mean energy of system A prime E prime bar will be equal to E prime tilde and these systems uh, were initially isolated from each other and then we formed the combined system A star so if I say that A and A prime systems uh, were initially isolated and they had an initial energy, total energy, uh, total mean energy EI bar for system A uh, and EI prime bar for system A prime, initial uh, total mean energies when we form uh, the thermal contact between A and A prime there will be energy exchange uh, however the total energy will be fixed because the combined system A star will be isolated okay so uh, Approaching the thermal equilibrium, when we form a thermal contact, thermal contact that allows energy exchange in the form of heat, A and A prime will exchange energy in the form of heat. right and finally we will have the final total energy mean value will be equal to E tilde and final total mean energy prime will be equal to E tilde prime this will correspond to the most probable energy value and also the highest number of uh, accessible states, uh, most uniform distribution, and uh, the most disordered configuration of the total system A star. And corresponding to this, we're going to have the final value of beta uh, will be the beta value at E final bar, the same as the beta value final beta value for the prime system which is the beta value for the prime system evaluated at E final uh, prime. Uh, so this is going to be the final equilibrium configuration. We will have the most probable energy being the mean energy and uh, the final beta values for the two systems will be the same. And this beta, remember, was defined to be 1 over Boltzmann constant times absolute temperature. Therefore, this is going to imply that the final temperature of system A and system A prime will be the same. 
so the energy exchange in the form of heat continues until we have the final the same final absolute temperature on the systems A and A prime. Uh, corresponding to this we have the total entropy total entropy of system S star A star so S plus S prime which is the total entropy of the combined system A star will be maximum at equilibrium so this is another condition we will obtain and we can also uh, write this as the final entropy of system A at energy E final uh, bar plus the final entropy of system A prime at energy E final prime bar should be greater or equal to the initial entropy at energy EI bar for system A and for the prime system initial entropy uh, at energy EI prime bar. So I can basically rewrite this as the following. If I take uh, SEI bar to the left hand side the entropy of the final configuration for system A minus the entropy of the initial configuration for system A will be uh, the change in the entropy of system A so this is delta S and then I have plus the entropy of the A prime final configuration minus initial configuration uh, this should be greater or equal to zero so delta S plus delta S prime will be greater or equal to zero so that's another way to say that the ent total entropy will be maximized at equilibrium uh, we can also say because the combined system is isolated since uh, the energy of system A plus energy of system A prime E star is a constant uh, the energy the total energy is conserved uh, we also have the following condition the change in energy of system A plus the change in energy of system A prime is equal to zero. The change in the energy of system A is the heat absorbed by system A. The change in energy of the system A prime is the heat absorbed by system A prime. So this is going to be equal to zero. Therefore, the heat absorbed by system A in approaching thermal equilibrium will be equal to the heat released by system A prime. Uh, now, for the initial condition of these two systems, before we make a thermal contact, we have uh, two possibilities, two possible initial conditions we can talk about. The first one is uh, you have the initial value of beta, which is the beta value at uh, the initial mean energy of system A equal to the initial beta value for system A prime, which is the beta value at uh, EI prime bar. So we can also write this as initial absolute temperature of system A was equal to the initial temperature of system A prime. Uh, so if that's the case, the systems were basically uh, already in the most 
probable situation that corresponds to the maximum total entropy with maximum total entropy so we, we will see that uh, therefore the heat absorbed by system uh, a will be equal to the heat released by system a prime which is zero no heat exchange will occur and the systems will remain in equilibrium when put in thermal contact. So basically the absolute temperature is telling us what will happen when we make a thermal contact between these two systems. If the absolute temperatures were initially the same, that means that uh, there will be no heat exchange. The total combined system entropy is already maximized and there will be uh, no change in the conditions of these two systems when we form a thermal contact. If initially we have the beta values uh, different, uh, then we can say that when we put them into thermal contact, these systems uh, will exchange energy in the form of heat in order to uh, reach the equilibrium condition until uh, the equilibrium condition is reached where we have the final beta values will be the same that is to say the final absolute temperatures of the two sides of the boundary will be the same and uh, the total entropy S star, which is S plus A prime, is maximum. So this will correspond to the equilibrium condition for these two systems. So let's uh, review what we said. Uh, we have found out that the probability of a system A having an energy E to E plus delta E when in thermal contact with system A prime, uh, where the combined system is isolated, the probability it has an extremely sharp maximum at E because it's proportional to the number of accessible states uh, as a function of energy, which varies as E minus E zero to the power F, number of degrees of freedom, which is very large. So it's an extremely, uh, sharp increase in the um, probability and this is multiplied by an extremely sharp decrease in the probability for uh, system a prime because you have uh, of, of the number of accessible states for system a prime because you have the energy of a prime fixed to be e star minus e at equilibrium we're going to have the mean energy equal to the most probable energy uh, for the two systems a and a prime if these systems were initially isolated with initial mean energies EI bar and EI prime bar, when we form a thermal contact at equilibrium, they're going to have the most probable energies E tilde and E tilde prime, uh, such that the beta values on the two sides will be equal. That means because beta is one over Boltzmann constant times absolute temperature, absolute temperatures on the two sides will be equal. Uh, if you remember from kinetic theory, this actually corresponds to uh, the mean uh, kinetic energy per uh, particle on the two sides being equal. Uh, the total entropy has to be maximized. Entropy was defined to be, uh, if you remember, uh, K times natural logarithm of omega. And let me also remind you, beta was defined as the natural logarithm of omega with respect to E derivative evaluated at the most probable 
energy. Uh, the total entropy being maximum means that the entropy change in system A plus entropy change in system A prime should be greater or equal to zero. And when is it equal to zero and when is it greater than zero? Uh, we have to look at the initial temperatures of the two systems. If the initial temperatures were the same, then the entropy, total entropy is already maximum. So initial, uh, there will be no entropy change, total entropy change, because it's already maximum. There is, there is no heat transfer and the systems will remain in equilibrium. If initially the beta values, or to say, uh, in other words, to say the initial absolute temperatures were different, there will be heat exchange until final absolute temperatures and final beta values are the same and the total entropy is maximized. During this process, since the energy is conserved, E star is a constant, combined system is isolated, heat absorbed by system A will be equal to the heat released by system A prime. 